But what I have to show you now is where everybody is. Now, I don't know if you were watching us this morning, um, but, you know, as we go through this sort of wonderful adventure that we're having here in the Mara, so we're going to learn more and more about this ecosystem. But if you weren't with us this afternoon, at least this morning, let me show you a little bit about where we are. Uh, you will find us over there at Angama Mara. That's the place where we find ourselves. We're not staying in the salubrious accommodations that are afforded by... Are oh, you struggling with me there? Let me move around this way. Um, <laughs> salubrious accommodations afforded by Angama Mara. We are staying in the salubrious accommodations. Beautiful tents we have, ha we have here, uh, constructed by Stefan Rinderboer and his team over the last little while, and that's where we are there. As I said, 370,000 acres or so, about 1,500 hectares, sorry, 150,000 hectares, so it's a massive piece of land. And we've all driven down the hill, well, the three, three who are out there have, and Brent has managed to find those buffalo pretty much over here, where I'm looking there. Jamie is now already almost at these crossing points over there, and Scott has gone a little bit north up that way, and he's looking for those lions, and I believe that he's actually managed to find them, which is quite exciting. So we're not going to go quite across to them just yet. Uh, we, so that's the story of the state of play. Now, today, earlier on, <coughs> you know, everything is just a little bit up in the air at the moment, but that's okay, because it means that you get to come on the adventure with us. It wouldn't be nice if it was all entirely pristine and easy, would it? I don't think so. And I've lost my wildebeest, of course. Naturally, the only things that I want, I have lost. Oh, this is very irritating. Here they are. Okay, here are the wildebeest, don't worry. There they are, all five of them, uh, representing some 1.5 million of their brethren down in the actual Mara. So there they are. This is where Brent found them a few days ago. And Jamie's going to head here towards these crossings because they have been heading north up the river towards those areas and they are going to be crossing. Now the big thing about the crossings to understand is that there's no real reason for them to be crossing in many respects. I mean they cross to and fro over this river again and again during the three or two months that they happen to be in this area. It can be as little as a month, it can be up to three months and sometimes even longer. But they cross over these crossings again and again, dependent probably on the rain, but there often seems to be no real reason. So that's what we're going to be watching, hopefully sometime soon, one of these afternoons, maybe even today. Now, Aaron, you want to know how big this area is in comparison with the Sabi Sands. That's Alan, not Aaron. The Sabi Sands in its entirety is 60,000 hectares. That is... 60,000 hectares is, 6, 000, no, is uh, 600 square kilometers, right? So this is three times the size of the Sabi sand. Our traversing area here of 150,000 hectares or 1,500 square kilometers or 370,000 acres, depending on which uh, sort of uh, scale you choose to use, is three times the size of this entire Sabi sands. So it is a massive, massive area. And because we're perched way up here, and I'll just let uh, Senzel show you how far perched we are, we can get a signal from a quite astonishing area because we're so high up here. And because down below, where I'm about to send you with Scott, is so very flat. <laughs> 